What is going on guys, it's Drakesy and just a quick one before today's video does start, be sure to subscribe to the channel because when we reach a thousand subscribers we're going to be doing a giveaway on the channel. The giveaway is going to be for a gift card, whether that be on Microsoft or Sony, the gift card will depend on the platform that you're on. So if you do want a chance to enter this competition, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. What is going on guys, it's Drakesy back again with another best possible squad builder on this channel. Today's squad builder is going to be a best possible Bosnia Herzegovina squad and as we can see on the screens now, the formation that we're going to be using is the 3-4-1-2 formation. Now I am going through all the squads on FIFA, the international squads that is, and building the best possible teams, but this one was actually recommended by a commenter on the channel, I'll put that up on the screens now. So thank you very much for your suggestion to build this squad, but uh, yeah, without any further ado, let's get into building the team. Starting off in net, we have Asmir Begovic of Chelsea, I believe, but I think he has recently just transferred to, is it Bournemouth? I think Bournemouth have actually just bought Begovic, but at the moment of filming, that card has not come out just yet. Um, so for now, we're just going to be sticking with the Begovic one, but it's definitely going to still be the same rating. Uh, it'll just have a different club badge on the card. But as we can see, this is his base card. He's not had any informs, obviously, being the second tier goalkeeper to Thibaut Courtois. Some decent stats on the card. He's a rare 83 rated gold uh, card on FIFA. So what you expect from a decent card like that, but I haven't played with him in game. So uh, yeah, still looks like a good card though. So now we move to the centre-backs and first up is going to be the left-sided centre-back and that is a guy called Zukanovic. I may be pronouncing that wrong, I'm sorry if I am. If you guys watch the channel, you'll know I am one of the worst at pronouncing names. But as we can see, he's got some decent stats on his card. A 75 rated rare gold card playing for Atalanta in Serie A, I do believe. Uh, but yeah, could do with a bit more pace, but defensive side of things, he's got it covered. The next centre-back in the team is going to be a guy called Bikakic. Bikakic, I'm not too sure once again on the names here, but as we can see, he's a 77-rated non-rare centre-back playing for Hoffenheim, I think that is, in the German league. Uh, once again, 66 pace on the card, some decent defensive and physical stats, a very similar card to the last one we've just seen. Um, but yeah, still not the best, but a solid defender, a gold at least. Now we move to the final centre-back of the team, that's going to be the left-sided centre-back and that is Spahik. Spahik, and as we can see he's the highest rated of them all, coming in at a 79 rating, uh, also playing in the German league for, I forget the name of the team whose badge that is, I believe it could be Hamburg, I may be wrong saying that, but as we can see he's got some decent stats on the defensive side of things again, but that pace is going to be a real problem for this three-man defence if you do build it. But yeah, that so far is the strongest defence. Now we're going to move up to the midfield. So the team starts getting a little bit tastier here. As we can see, we have a guy named Visca in at right mid. He's an 87 rated team of the season, I believe playing for a Turkish team. The name escapes me of the team that he does play for. But as we can see looking at his card, he's an 87 rated right mid and some of the stats on this card guys are incredible. 93 pace, 90 dribbling, 86 shooting and 82 passing is going to be fantastic to be playing with. Now we move more central into the team, coming to the centre mid that is, and as we can see it's the 76 rated centre mid non-rare card of Besic playing for Everton at the moment, and as we can see he's not had an upgrade, this is just his base card. Um, some decent stats though for a base card, talking 70s kind of around the board with a few 60s and a 50 in there, but on the defensive side again, very very strong. Decent dribbling and decent pace as well on a centre mid. We move across to his partner in crime in the centre of the pitch and that's actually going to be a guy I think who's called Jajalo. Jajalo, I could be pronouncing that wrong again. Uh, but as we can see, he is a 73 rated non-rare silver centre mid card playing for Palermo in Serie A. They may be in Serie B at the moment, I'm not too sure. Once again, as per usual with this team, his pace is not the best, but all round looking at his stats as a card, he's got a pretty decent card. 
Moving to the left midfielder of the team, I think it's Kolasinic. Kolasinic, I could be saying that wrong once again, but this is team of the season card, 88 rated, left mid. I believe his natural position is actually left back, but this is for when he was playing at Schalke. I think he's now just got a transfer to Arsenal, so he will be an Arsenal player, this guy right here. Uh, next year if you didn't know but looking at the stats on his card they are fantastic you can kind of see he's a defensive player looking at these stats 86 pace 84 dribbling 89 defense 82 passing and 94 physical on a left midfielder so although the midfielder and the defense isn't the best in this team your two wingers on each side of the pitch look fantastic if you were to build it now as you can see this is where the team starts to get a little bit more tasty moving up to the center attacking mid we have pianic this is actually his uh ones to watch card um, which if you don't know I'm sure you will leveled up with any informs that he got and I think he got one inform this year so it did go up a rating so as we can see he's an 86 rated uh, we're going to use him as centre attacking mid in this team playing for Juventus and the stats on this card guys look fantastic 75 pace is perfect not too much not too little for a centre attacking mid 87 dribbling, 80 shooting and 88 passing as along with 71 physical which isn't the worst. Uh, but yeah, he looks like a fantastic card to be getting in at centre attacking mid. Moving up to the first striker and the penultimate player in this team, we have Ibisevic. And as we can see, he's another uh, Bosnia-Herzegovina player playing out in the German leagues, playing for Hertha Berlin. This is his 80 rated non-rare striker card, gold for Hertha Berlin that is. Uh, and once again, it seems like the common trend in every single player in this team. He's a bit low on pace for a striker, 61 pace, but his stats all over his card aren't too bad. 71 dribbling, not the best, not the worst. 80 shooting is decent to have and 76 physical is pretty good as well. Till finally we come to the last player in the team and of course it's going to be the man, the myth, the legend. The guy that stands out above the rest, that's going to be Edin Dzeko of Roma. This is his 93 rated team of the season, 93 rated, that's incredible. Uh, and as we can see, like I mentioned, he's playing for Roma. His pace is not the best, 77, but you can deal with it, you can probably play with it. Um, but you don't want to be looking at that if you're going to be looking at anything. You want to be looking on the card at the 93 dribbling, 96 shooting, 90 passing and 92 physical. This card looks incredible. The two wingers look incredible. You've got Pjanic in there. Maybe the rest of the team isn't the best. But overall, guys, a pretty solid team excusing the pace from each player. <laughs> but as we can see, this is the best possible Bosnia-Herzegovina team so far in FIFA 17. So if you have enjoyed this, be sure to like, comment and subscribe. It does help the channel a lot, guys. Thank you very much for watching and supporting and see you in a bit, guys.